Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be ranking up my sixth rank five and you might know who it is. And it's this guy right here. So this is actually my second science champion. I already have spot. He was my first one. And yeah, man, he's my sixth rank five. And it was pretty ironic because yesterday I literally uploaded a video about a rank five ascended scorpion in the CCP. And then the day that day i got that 45 gem it's almost like i knew <laughs> so yeah man rank 5 scorpion i really he he was going to give me my next science 100 percent uh I, I wasn't sure if i wanted to rank 5 this guy yet because like I'm, i was close to taking a science champion to rank 5 with my catalyst but actually i'm gonna save my catalyst and go for a 7 star rank 2 uh, which is probably gonna be joe fix it so that rank 5 gem is really handy because Scorpion is the best science champion in the game. And I just I just love him. He's going to be suicide friendly. He's going to be great for like most metas. And uh, I can't wait to use him in Battlegrounds. So look at this. He actually kicked out Absorbent from the profile. And that is the profile right now. We got the Ascended Hercules, Kitty Pride, Scorpion, and Spot. So Scorpion is actually pretty high because he, he's like sig 200. Mine is sig 200. So since I showcased, uh, he's kind of like his damage in yesterday's ascend video i want to do something di different i wanted to try and solo this gauntlet this is the event quest gauntlet it's called i think paragon gauntlet yeah paragonlet so we have two synergies with us here we can only bring two and we're not even gonna you know utilize the skip or we're gonna like basically skip the choices of like swapping champions so we have the spider ham synergy which gives us a 25 percent chance to apply sting debuffs on our light attacks which is always really nice and we also have the best energy for scorpion which is venom it gives us passive furies based on how many sting debuffs we have and look at the special too it's like a you know 71,000 with you know just eight debuffs which is so easy to get so yeah this venom pool it's just done in 34 seconds. Like you just need like a poison immune. And yeah, Scorpion just handled that really well. And you can see actually how good Scorpion is with like suicides even. Because that increases obviously increases your sting damage from the special two and the sting burst from when the opponent pops specials. Now there's actually two difficult fights for Scorpion in this gauntlet run, which is Mole Man and Zemo. Because, you know, Mole Man, you don't really want to apply debuffs or like focus on debuffs. But thankfully, we have this node where if we dash back, like, it gets applied like with three debuffs, uh, same as me. And it's easier to get him to the 20 charges. And here, the reason that I didn't apply the Rapture pre fight is because he gains a lot of physical resistance from his monster mass charges. And if I went for the shock, he's actually shock immune. So I just, you know, I was like, I'm going to take some poison damage. It's, it's going to be okay. But if I get through this fight faster, it's going to be worth it. And yeah, that's going to happen. So now I think I'm going to bait a special two. I'm going to wait out his unstoppable here. And it's actually nice because he's taunted as well. So he threw it instantly. And that special two with eight debuffs should be enough. And it was. Not too bad. We did lose a lot of health because that heal block and I had the poison ticking. But I think it was better. To just try and do that because you know i didn't want to be like a two second fight or two, two minute fight two minute fight so now we didn't uh, we skip the choice and here actually we can kind of heal against red hulk because i believe every time you parry you get an armor break and another good thing about scorpion is his block proficiency parries are literally zero we got perfect parries you don't have any synergies for like block proficiency it's just pure scorpion block proficiency so yeah he's he's kind of a crazy block proficiency god so here unfortunately this red hulk he wouldn't throw his special two and i actually have a timer on the approaching stun so i actually have to throw my special two even though it's not going to do anything pretty much yeah, i was like i mean 20 is not bad but you know with three demos it's not too great so yeah unfortunately i had to do that now I'm gonna try and parry, just heal up from the armor break, which is great. There we go, he threw the special. And I'm really close to the encroaching stun again, so I have to throw my special one since I can't get to my special two. And he's got a lot of sting debuffs now. He's gonna throw a special and just, yeah. He lost like 25% of his health, which is popping a special. And there goes Red Hulk. We pretty much, I think, healed up or stayed about the same health. 
Now, this is the hardest fight. This is genuinely the hardest fight in the gauntlet, for, in my opinion. And I'm using someone that's not really too great. But actually, he did a lot better than I thought. So, you know, obviously, I'm going to get rooted in the beginning. But I'm not going to get rooted again. It's going to happen only once. And you're going to see why. Get a nice intercept so we can deal some damage. Now, I know that I'm getting rooted. So, what I'm going to do is try and deck some of his hits. I hit, hit him there, so we taunt him. And uh, he actually threw the special, which I'm pretty comfortable to dex, even being rooted. And now, actually, we have a bleed, which actually heals us. We heal, like, about 130, 155, I believe, per second, which actually helps. Like, as long as I don't take any more damage, I can definitely, uh, you know, uh, live with this. So here, we went to another cleanse phase, but because I was during a special, I timed the last medium for my special, we just got out of the root. And now he's got the resistance up. So we can apply debuffs. And the good thing about this is I can pop my special one again because I have it ready. And it's gonna eat all of those cleanse charges. Sorry about that. It's gonna eat all of those cleanse charges. And now he's back to hit the resistance up. So I have to be a little bit aggressive now. Thankfully he threw the special. So if I can just do the cycle, just go for a special one. When he his resistance up is gonna go away. I'm just gonna eat the cleanse charges really fast and basically don't care about getting rooted. And there it happened again. Because I know that my special one plays guaranteed debuffs. That is what you want to do against Zemo. You either apply no debuffs or you apply debuffs on the specials. But guaranteed debuffs are amazing. Because you can you don't need to like use RNG to see if like you're gonna apply a debuff or something. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for another uh, special one. And he's gonna die after that one for the intercept. And that's it, dude. We actually healed up against Zemo. Thanks to that bleed. We had that bleed going on. Here, actually, this fight, I was like, hey, this Iron Man has a really potent regen. So I was thinking, I do have really nice health. But I know this guy has the annoying degen node where you gotta be so aggressive and like back him in the corner or you get back in the corner. But you never really wanna fight in the corner. It's kind of scary, especially with new animations. And I knew I was going to take some damage. So I'm like, hey, maybe we can heal up from his regen. Because I, you know, you don't really get the healing with Scorpion outside BGs in war. But this guy actually has a regeneration, which would be definitely really handy for me. Beta special 2, he took a lot of damage, man. We fully dex that. It's not that difficult. It's only one dex. Taking some hits. So I'm like, hey, it's going to be okay. We're going to heal up. And I think here I'm going to pop my special 2. And I know the Dijin is, is coming. So I really hope it doesn't kill me. But yeah, this Dijin is pretty tough to you to, to like time it. And Dijin is doing a lot, but it's not gonna kill me. And his region phase is actually really close. Basically, you need to bait like a couple more specials, and I can do it. Can I try and bait special one? There we go. He's on his region phase, and he just just died too quickly. Like, oh, look at this. He he died too quick. Like he was thirty six percent. He threw a special one. He got the the region, and I I don't know. I feel like. Maybe 3%? I heal 7%. He, he just died way too quickly. Way too quickly. <laughs> Man. Because I think we were like reversing something or anything. I think we had like a lot of debuffs and like we kind of reversed it with the Petrify. I'm not too sure what happened there. He died way too fast. I was trying not to even hit him, but you know, he just died way too fast. But you know, that 7% health is going to be helpful at least. And my score is sick to 100 as well. So, this is the Gladiator. This guy actually is a bit annoying. I do not really want to bait special 1. That's why I'm going to hold my block to this. And do it again. Trying to bait special 2s. And I don't really want to bait too many specials. Because he goes stun immune after his specials. So, yeah. I'm going to bait that special 2. Easily dex that. Not that difficult. There we go. I'm going to go for my special 2 after this heavy. We throw it with 6. It's going to deal decent damage. Boom. He's going to throw his special 2 now. And he's going to take a bunch of sting damage. And then I basically need to like intercept once. But he actually intercepted me. But there is Scorpion sent. That actually saved me. And that is it, man. Scorpion just completely solos the gauntlet. The, the Pyrodon gauntlet. Even like against Moleman and uh, Zemo. Which are really tough fights. Because you know, you apply a lot of Scorpion. But
But yeah, man, Scorpion is literally the best science champion, in my opinion. I think he has everything. He's got a taunt. He has so many immunities. Great block, prof block proficiency. He works amazing with Despair because he's got a bunch of debuffs. The only thing he Scorpion doesn't have is like buffs, but uh, not too many science champs have buffs, actually. Like most of them are like buff immune or anything. So it doesn't really make sense for him to have buffs. So yeah, man, I think this just, this guy just has everything, especially for battlegrounds. Like in war, he's like the safest jump, and you can tank SP threes because you just like heal up from everything with that petrify. It's really great. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know if you guys racked up anyone from you know yesterday's forty five gems uh, in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.